Hi, my name is Marion Landry and I'm the Technical Marketing Manager for 3ds Max Design and Showcase. To continue our series of mental ray rendering tips and tricks, we'll see how we can transform the exterior daylight rendering into an end of the day rendering. This scene will use a combination of daylight system as well as artificial lighting. Let's have a look at the step to render an exterior scene at dawn or dusk. So first of all, this scene will need a daylight system and photometric lights. Now, when you start adding photometric lights or artificial lights, of course, artistic skill or lighting skills are required. If you don't understand what you do, it's often a good idea to require a lighting plan or guide yourself with a lighting plan. Then you have to change the time of the day of the daylight system to an early morning or a late afternoon. You'll have to reduce the mental ray sun and sky intensity to a minimum of 0.01 or turn it off. And that's a step, unfortunately, we'll have to do manually. It won't happen automatically. Then you'll lower the exposure value accordingly to match the time of the day and start adding the photometric lights according to your needs or to your lighting plan. Let's review these steps in the software. So the first step is to change the time of the day to a late afternoon or early morning. So we'll go for 7 p.m. Then we'll have to reduce the intensity of the sun and sky manually because these do not get um, adjusted when we change the time of the day. So we'll go for 0 0.01 for each the mental ray sky and the mental ray sun. Then obviously now we have a pitch dark uh, scene because we haven't adjusted the exposure control. So we'll just guess the exposure control for now and revisit once we have the artificial lights in the scene. So let's render this to make sure that we're happy with this result. So we have a nice sky and a nice reflection and a darkness, dark enough to what we expect for 7 p.m. in the afternoon. Now, the last thing you have to do is start adding the artificial light. Now, I do already have a lighting plan in here, and I'm just going to turn on these artificial light, and you can see that the luminance of these light starts to affect my scene. So using the light lister is always a good idea to manage the amount of light and adjust these lights accordingly. So also a good idea to use instance of your light if all if if a series of light will share same value, therefore it will be a lot easier to adjust and lot faster to adjust. So you start to see here a nice result that is balancing both the daylight system as well as the artificial lights. So I can turn on some, some additional models to where these lights are living, for instance, those little pod lights that are on the exterior, and I can readjust the exposure control because now I have more source of light and I might need to fine tune the exposure control a little bit. Before I was guessing, now that I have all my lights in the software, I can really fine tune this exposure control to the brightness that I want and it render for the finals. So obviously, creating an early morning or late afternoon rendering does take some artistic skill because you have some lighting involved and it's difficult to find out if you don't know about and it's difficult if you don't know about lighting to know where to place the light what is the light in intensity supposed to be so i highly recommend to refer to light manufacturer load some ies data information and look at the lighting plan to have some sort of an idea now of course the more light you're adding to your render the more time it will take to calculate so there's so there's always a balance that you need to find in between reality and visual quality that you're trying to achieve. Now, let me give you a few tips and tricks on how you can fine tune your exterior scene at dawn or dusk. So first thing will be to find the sun and sky intensity you need. You remember when I changed these number manually, basically as we adjust the time of the day, the mental ray sun and mental ray sky stay at the same intensity of, of 1.0. So you need to reduce the intensity manually to a lower level for dawn or dusk because obviously the later in the day or the earlier in the day your sun is, the least the intensity of that sun will be. So there was, this will take a bit of trial and error before you get the perfect balance. It is sometimes easier to turn it off and light the scene solely with the artificial lights. Ask for a lighting plan. It's always a good idea to use as a guide. You know, use instance for the light. It's easier to adjust a row of lights that are all sharing the same properties when they are all instance and use the light lister to help you do that. 
Creating an exterior scene at dawn or dusk is always a little bit of trial and error. You always try to balance the daylight system with the artificial light and you're mainly trying to balance the time that it will take to render. So try to limit the amount of light as much as you can and be kind of creative and think outside the box when you're creating such lights.